Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam. I currently live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I have lived here for almost two years now in the same apartment. And I decided recently that I think I want to move out when my lease is up. So over the last couple of weeks, I have been apartment hunting and recording the process. And I thought I would bring you along and share the apartments that I toured. That way, if you are also looking to move to the Wilmington area, you can kind of get an idea of what the apartments are like here, what the price points are, how much square footage you can typically expect for the price, and maybe you can also help me pick my next apartment. So I'm gonna have timestamps down in the description, so if you just wanna skip straight to the actual apartment tours, you can do so, but to give you just a little bit of background so that you kinda know what I am looking for, I currently live in a one-bedroom apartment that is 636 square feet, and it's just me and my dog, so it's an okay amount of space, but it's just kinda tight in here. I don't have a lot of storage. The kitchen's a little bit on the smaller side, and when I have guests come stay with me, like all my friends and family live far away, so when they come and stay with me for like a week at a time, it gets pretty cramped. So I'm just ready to get in something bigger and maybe a little bit nicer, more modern, because the building that I live in, it's an older building, and the look of it is a little bit outdated. And another big reason why I wanna move is because I just want to relocate to a different part of town. Like I said, I've just been living in the same apartment since I moved here. And while I do like the side of town I'm on, I just feel very far away. I'm kind of on the opposite side from my other friends, from my job, and I just feel like it's kind of inconvenient. So being closer to my friends and the places that I go to regularly would be amazing. But some things that I have in my current space that I really love and that I would like to also have in the next space is this apartment is in an apartment complex. So we have a clubhouse with office spaces, we have a really nice pool, there's a full gym. I like that I have a dishwasher, I have a full size washer and dryer in my unit, which I love. I also love that I have a balcony, so having an outdoor space is really important to me, especially because my dog loves it. He is so used to just, you know, being able to sit out there all the time now. I also really like that my apartment complex has a really homey, cozy feel to it. There's a lot of nature surrounding my apartment, a lot of nice places where I can walk my dog, and it's quiet. It's set back from the main road, so I don't ever hear street noise. So let's start with apartment number one. This was actually a two bedroom, two and a half bath townhouse. It's 1298 square feet, and the price starts at 1782. So right there is the front door, and when you first walk into this apartment, you walk into the living room area, you can see it's a nice open concept. There was a nice size closet underneath the stairs over here, which I was very happy about. And I love the area for the bar stools. There was enough space to put a small dining room table between the living room and kitchen. It's definitely way more living space than what I currently have and you can see this is the half bath that's downstairs then going over into the kitchen this island actually isn't included so it's just sort of like an open area in the kitchen which I don't mind I liked the look of the kitchen I liked that everything was like nice and clean and modern it did have a pantry closet which was very exciting because I don't currently have that and then you can see out there in the back is a small patio area. And then in the kitchen is also your closet with your full-size washer dryer. I don't really love that this is downstairs and in the kitchen. It just feels kind of out of the way and in a weird location. I wish it was upstairs, but that's fine. And then over here is another closet that just has like the hot water heater and the HVAC unit. And then here's just like another little overview of what the first floor looks like. I also really liked that fridge too, by the way. Then moving on to the upstairs, as soon as you come up to the landing of the stairs, there's another closet. 
The HVAC is in there up top, but you could definitely put some stuff down on the bottom. And then going over to the right was one of the bedrooms. I liked that this place didn't necessarily have a master. Like you could make either one a master or if you were living with roommates, you know, nobody had a smaller bedroom than the other person. So this bathroom was really nice. I really liked all of the cabinet storage and the vanity. I liked that it had this built in, you know, like the built in shelves for like a built in linen closet situation. The shower with the glass doors looked really beautiful. And the bedrooms were like a little bit on the smaller size, but they had pretty nice sized walk in closets, which I really liked a lot. Then walking over to the other side where the second bedroom is, I'm pretty sure the bedrooms are the same size as each other. And this bedroom also has its own private bathroom. The difference with this one though is that this bathroom has a like tub shower combo. I also really loved the vanity and how it had those open shelves. Very cute and different. And this bedroom also had a really nice size walk-in closet. So one thing to note about the apartments in this area, if you are going to be living in like a, you know, complex type of community, most of them have additional monthly fees that are not optional. And that's in addition to your regular utilities as well. So this place has valet trash. That's an extra $35. Package acceptance is an additional $15 a month. Pest control is $5 a month. This place was really nice. I love how the interior looked. It was very modern and up to date. And the fact that it had the half bath downstairs was really great. This townhouse did have a community clubhouse area with a really nice pool. It did have a gym, but it didn't have as much equipment in it as I would prefer, but it had a dog washing station, which I thought was really cool, and I would definitely get a lot of use out of that. But I just didn't love the lack of privacy. Driving through the complex, you could see like all of the patios were just like out in the open right next to each other. There were no privacy fences or anything, and I didn't love that. And I also just didn't really love the location of this one. It was set back from the main road, so it was nice and quiet, which I loved. And it definitely had that like homey neighborhood kind of feel, but it's even a little bit further away than my current place from like the center of town. So this one is a no for me. Apartment number two was a two bedroom, two bath. This is just a regular apartment, so it's all on one floor. It's 1200 square feet and the rent starts at 1974 a month. And this place also has those additional monthly charges. So $35 for valet trash, $15 package acceptance, $5 pest control. I think that's the same as the other place. So as soon as you walk into this place on the left is a really nice size laundry room. And then there was also this little bonus room on the right that you could turn into either like a more formal dining room or an office space. And then this was the kitchen. I really like the nice size island and how much cabinet space there was. Then this little closet over here is just a small broom closet. And then you have another closet over on the other side with your hot water heater and HVAC. And then on the other side of the kitchen is your pantry closet. I love that it has a pantry. And it just had a really nice, spacious, open living area. Enough room to put a dining table if you wanted to. You could definitely put like a really big, nice size couch in there. And then it did have either a patio if you're on the first floor or balconies if you're on a higher floor. Then on one side of the apartment is your guest room, which was a pretty decent size. I didn't go over to it, but there was a walk-in closet. And then going over to the guest bathroom, there's a small linen closet right outside of that. And this was how that bathroom looked. The tubs in this entire complex were so nice and huge. Then over on the other side of the apartment is the master bedroom. 
and I like how this had that little hallway with a really nice sized walk-in closet and also a good sized bathroom with the double sinks really beautiful and again that humongous tub I did look at a second floor plan at this same complex so I'll insert that one so you guys can see it this one was 1377 square feet, and I don't remember how much the price was, but this one was, of course, more expensive. I want to say it started at around like 22 or 2300 a month. This one was just like way out of my price range, but I thought, why not look at it anyway? This apartment was beautiful. It's a corner unit, so look how many windows it had. It was so bright and nice. Back here is the master bedroom, and it was a pretty good size. There was a really big bathroom with the double sinks, again, the huge tubs, the linen closet, and then look at this walk-in closet. Oh my god. That, like, that could be its own, like, office space or something. Like, it was huge. What I also really liked about this place was that from the master bedroom, you also had access to the balcony. And you can see the door over on the other side leads to the living room. So you could get to the balcony either from the master or the living room. The living room was a really nice size. And you can see there's the door to the balcony. Then over on the other side is the guest bathroom. Pretty nice size, again with the huge tub. And then this was the guest bedroom. And this also had a really nice sized walk-in closet. Outside of the guest bedroom and bathroom was a linen closet. The kitchen was also a really good size. Again, I love the island. All of the kitchens in this complex also have pantries which I love. I just love how much closet and storage space this place had. And then walking over to the front door, there's a little built-in desk area over here, which I thought was cute and could definitely be useful. And then look at the size of this laundry room. Oh my God. So nice. So much storage space. That's where, you know, obviously the hot water heater and HVAC unit are. And then right at the front entrance, you have a small like coat closet. I really like this complex. It's in a pretty good location. It's very close to a lot of things, super close to the beach, but it's also set back from the main road. So you can't hear any street noise. And the road that it's on is a dead end road. There's no like through traffic. So it feels a lot safer. It was also a very small community, which could have its pros and cons, but it's really beautiful. It has all of the nature that I'm looking for. A nice clubhouse with a really beautiful pool, a nice gym. This place also had a dog washing station. And this place has elevators, which is kind of a nice bonus if you are carrying up a bunch of heavy furniture or a lot of groceries. The only thing that I didn't really love about this place is it is an older complex. So the interior I felt just kind of looked a little bit older. I didn't love the dark marble countertops in the bathroom and the dark wood cabinets. I mean, that's like a small detail and really not the end of the world, but I do feel like because I vlog and I record in my apartment all the time, I kind of, would prefer a brighter interior. Otherwise, I really did love this apartment and the complex it was in. The next place that I went to go look at, I actually viewed two units. They were both around 1230 square feet and rent started at just over $2,000 a month. The layouts were pretty similar. The two big differences were that the finishes were different colors. Um, they have two different color options, which I thought was cool. And one has a balcony while the other does not. As soon as you walk into this apartment, you enter the kitchen area. This kitchen was so beautiful. I loved how bright it was. Over to the right of the front door is a little coat closet. And this island in the kitchen is massive. 
and just look how much cabinet space there is. They had sort of like these built-in pantries, which I thought was really nice. Beautiful stainless steel appliances and enough space between the kitchen and living room area to put a small dining table. This apartment did not have a balcony. Then this is the master bedroom. Nice sized bathroom with the double sinks. Beautiful shower with the glass doors. There was also a linen closet in this bathroom. And then this really big walk-in closet. I don't really love though when you have to go through the bathroom to get to the closet. That's, I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> then going over to the other side where the guest area is, this is the guest bedroom. I love how they decorated in here. And then this one had a pretty nice size walk-in closet. Then right outside of the guest bathroom is the laundry closet, full-size washer dryer, which I love. Across from that is the closet with the hot water heater. And then this is the guest bathroom. Really spacious and beautiful. Nice big tub. And it also has a linen closet in the bathroom. This next apartment was pretty much the same layout as the last one. It was just flip-flopped, but you can see it had different colored finishes. So right to the left of the front door is your coat closet, a really bright open living room area. Again, enough space to put a small dining room table. This is the guest bedroom, which had a nice sized walk-in closet. And then outside of the guest bedroom is that same closet with the full-size washer dryer. Right across from that is the closet with the hot water heater and then the guest bathroom. I loved how just bright and clean this bathroom felt. It also had a linen closet in there and a nice big tub going back out to the living room area this unit did have a balcony but as you can see it's very small so you can't really fit any furniture like maybe a really small chair in the corner then on the other side is the master suite here's the bedroom this was a pretty good sized bedroom and nice big bathroom with the double sinks. Again, the shower with the glass doors, linen closet, and huge walk-in closet. I loved the closet in these master bedrooms. This place, same thing, it's in a complex, so they have those same additional monthly fees. Beautiful clubhouse, beautiful pool, really nice gym and this place was just gorgeous like it was so well designed and well decorated even the pet washing room was decorated like it had decor in it and i love inside the apartments themselves like the way the kitchens looked but what i really didn't like about this place number one not all of the units come with balconies and in fact i think most of them didn't have a balcony so the chance of there being one with a balcony that's also available for the time that I need it. There's just not really a guarantee for that. And a balcony is like a must have for me, like I said, because of my dog. And the units that did have balconies, as you saw, they're really tiny. And when you open the door, that just sweeps over the entire thing. So there's really no space for you to put chairs or any kind of furniture out there. And another huge con about this place is that it is directly on a really busy road like one of the main streets in this town so anywhere that you are in this community you are going to hear street noise and i feel like coming and going would be annoying especially during high traffic times and it also didn't have like the nature that i'm looking for there wasn't enough grass and trees and all that like pretty much all of the units were just looking out to parking lots that one is gonna have to be a no for me the next apartment i looked at was another townhouse 
I'm going to be completely honest. I wasn't really interested in this place for myself because it's just way out of my price range. But my friend was with me. She wanted to go look at them. So I figured I would just include it anyway. But this was a three bedroom, three bath townhome, two floors. And the rent ranges between $26.13 and $38.38 a month. This townhouse had a nice size guest bedroom on the first floor with a nice big walk-in closet. The bathroom was a pretty decent size with the double sinks, tub shower combo. And then from there you walk out and this is kind of like the front entrance of the apartment. So over on the left side, you have a pretty deep like broom coat closet. This was the kitchen. It wasn't very big considering that this is a, like a three bedroom townhouse. I kind of expected a bigger kitchen, but it had a really big pantry, which I liked. I love how it has the stainless steel appliances. Everything was like really bright and modern. And then look at these sliding glass doors and the adorable fenced in patio out back and I'm pretty sure those doors you can like completely open them up I did notice though that this place felt kind of dark like despite having those glass doors right there I think because the backyard is closed in you didn't really get that much natural light but going up to the second floor right at the top of the landing is I guess like a linen closet and then the closet with your full-size washer dryer and then over on the left side i think this one is technically an extra bedroom it had its own private bathroom which was a pretty good size nice and clean i love the glass doors and it had a pretty nice size walk-in closet good amount of storage and then over on the other side, this I'm pretty sure was supposed to be the master bedroom. It had like the Jack and Jill closets, I guess you would call them. Just two little closets on either side of each other. They were, I mean, they were a pretty decent size, actually. I feel like just one of them is kind of like the amount of closet space I have currently. But then the bedroom itself was huge really nice and spacious and then it had its own bathroom with the double sinks and then I forgot about this part but it also had an additional huge walk-in closet off of the bathroom. I didn't end up getting all the full information for this place so I'm not sure if this one also has those additional monthly fees like for the valet trash and all of that. This place also had a clubhouse with a pool and a gym and I have to say from the outside this place was really beautiful. It felt like a neighborhood. Their landscaping was gorgeous. There were so many beautiful plants and trees and that little fenced in patio in the back like so beautiful. Those windows gorgeous and like I said this wasn't a place that I was like actually considering for myself anyway so this one's a no the next complex that I toured I actually viewed three different apartments within this same complex so the first one was actually a one bedroom this one was 824 square feet and the rent starts at 1565 so as soon as you walked into this apartment there was this cute little area i think they called it a built-in mud room and this was the kitchen so much cabinet space oh my god i loved it and i love the stainless steel appliances those open shelves are super cute it had a nice big island with even more cabinet space a decent sized living room and then there was also a balcony, which was a really good size. And then over to the left was the bedroom. The bedroom was a pretty decent size. And then from the bedroom, you can go directly into the bathroom. And the bathroom had so much storage. I loved these cabinets that pretty much went up to the ceiling. And then there was also a linen closet in this bathroom so again 
so much storage. This is the walk-in closet, which was huge. I love this closet. And then inside the closet was the washer dryer, which I thought was really interesting and such a smart idea. I didn't love that it was the stackable washer dryer, but the tub is right there. And then there's also a door that will take you back out to the main living space. I liked this unit. I definitely liked the kitchen, but the stackable washer dryer and the fact that it didn't have any additional closet space. It didn't feel like enough of an upgrade for me from my current place to like make the move worth it. But then the second unit that I viewed in this complex was a two bedroom, two bath, 1186 square feet and the rent starts at 1870. When you walk into this apartment, over on the left is your guest bathroom, which was a pretty good size. It had a really nice big tub and I loved how high these ceilings were. It just felt really spacious in here. And then you can go through this like kind of walk through closet situation, which I thought was interesting. And then that leads you to the guest bedroom. Going back out to the main living space, you have your living room off of the kitchen. The kitchen was a good size, tons and tons of cabinet space, another big island with even more cabinet space, stainless steel appliances. It was just overall a really good kitchen. And I don't think I ever opened them, but those double doors you see over there is where the full-size washer dryer is. There was this area that was great for either a dining table or you could even make a little office area. And then look at this freaking patio. Huge. Because it was a corner unit, the patio just wraps around. So nice. It would be amazing for entertaining. Then over here is the master bedroom. This had a pretty good size walk-in closet and the bathroom over here on the right good size with a stand-up shower oh and next to where the washer dryer is was another one of those like built-in mudroom things then the third unit in this complex that i looked at was another two bedroom two bath this one was a little bit bigger it's 12 15 square feet and the rent starts at 19 15 a month when you walked into this apartment, they had this cute little like cut out with chalkboard paint, which I thought was really cute and different. This had another really nice big kitchen. I loved the kitchens just in general in this complex. They were just huge and had so much cabinet space. This living room area wasn't quite as spacious as the last one, but you can see there still is a little bit of space to put a small dining room table. Then over on this side is where the master bedroom is. It has a nice big walk-in closet. Although looking at it now, the way they have it set up is a little bit weird. There's not quite as much space to actually hang stuff, but still a good size. And then this was the master bathroom. I was shocked when I saw this bathroom. It's huge. I was like, there's a table in here. What? <laughs> so much cabinet space, the double sinks. It also had a linen closet in here. I loved this bathroom. Then going back out to the living room area, I noticed that the island had a built-in wine rack. I love that. <laughs> And then there was an extra closet over here outside of the guest bedroom. And then here's the guest bedroom. Pretty standard, normal size. Again, with that like walk through closet situation that leads to the guest bathroom. This bathroom had these cute little built-in shelves, which I really liked. And again, those cabinets that go almost all the way up to the ceiling. Love that for extra storage. Nice big tub. And then when you go out from the guest bathroom, 
Immediately on your left is the washer dryer closet. Again, this one had a full size washer dryer, which is what I prefer. And then circling back around through the living room area. It's kind of weird to me how they put the little dining room table over there on the opposite side of the kitchen. Like that doesn't really make sense to me feng shui wise, but this had a pretty nice size balcony or patio, you know, depending on what floor you're on. This place, interestingly enough, actually has two clubhouses and two pools. So that's kind of nice. And I loved the clubhouses in this complex. Definitely felt like a good place to have people over, to like throw parties. And it's also in a great location that's close to everything. But again, it's set back from the main road. So you don't get a lot of street noise. Um, it feels like a little bit more private. It didn't have quite as much like trees and grass as I would prefer, but I still liked the overall feel there. The only thing I would say that I didn't really love about this place is even though it has a gym, it's very small and kind of cramped. And I didn't really love the way the interior looked as far as like the finishes. And I, again, I know this is like a small little stupid detail, like the kitchens and bathrooms were beautiful, but I didn't love how everything is just so cool toned and gray. It just felt really cold. Finally, moving on to the last apartment. This one was kind of last minute. I got there shortly before the office was about to close. So there was only time for me to view one unit. So this was a one bedroom, one bath, 711 square feet, and the rent starts at 1870. When you walked into this place, immediately on your left was the kitchen. It's kind of small. It didn't really have the most counter or cabinet space. And then in the kitchen was the stacked washer dryer, which I don't know. I just like that's such a weird spot for it. But I did like how overall the kitchen looked. It was very modern. I liked the stainless steel appliances. I loved the fridge with the double doors and the you know water and ice maker on the door then out in the living room space it was a pretty decent size as you can see there was room for a small dining table and then this place does have patios balconies depending on what floor you're on and then going back out to the living room area there was this closet over here but this was really the only extra closet space that you had in the whole apartment which i didn't love the bedroom was a pretty decent size and then you just had this strange walk through closet which is fine but considering this was the only closet in the entire apartment that's just like not enough space there was a the little linen closet there and then this was the bathroom i liked the look of the bathroom but I don't know, just there wasn't enough storage. This one also has additional monthly fees. The rent itself is a bit higher square footage wise. And it had a nice clubhouse with a nice pool. It had a good gym and the location was pretty good. Again, close to a lot of things, but not located directly on a main road. But there was like pretty much no nature. Like it was just concrete parking lot and then this building smack dab in the middle and all of the units were just facing the perimeter. I'm rolling this one out. It's a no for me. So those are all of the apartments that I toured in Wilmington. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which ones were your favorite? I am definitely gonna have some fun moving content for you guys coming up in the next few months. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all the fun stuff to come. And I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.